Welcome to Manor Farm Fishery, and today is challenge day. Jamie set me the challenge, 60 pound in 60 minutes. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Absolute perfect. As it stands at the moment, it's just, I feel like it's not quick enough at the moment to, to catch that 60 pound. So that bite was less than 30 seconds. We might be uh, pulling off the impossible, you know. Another one. Caught me by surprise, that one did. Now we're on for a grandstand finish. So guys, we're here on Island Lake at Manor Farm Fishery. And Jamie set me a challenge, 60 pounds in 60 minutes. It's a bit of a bit of a bit of a hard task, I think, this one. You know, we're fishing a method feeder and not allowed to fish the pole down the edge or anything like that. It's a mainly a method feeder challenge. And you know, I'm gonna have to be quite positive, I think. There's no point in me trying to cast and try and build a swim. I'm gonna have to attack it and really go for this one if I want to complete the challenge. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to target a swim on the island, tight over in shallow water, try and catch fish, have a runner fish really quick on that. But I'm also going to loose feed a pellet line to the aerator just to my left, where at some point in these 60 minutes, I'm going to try and drop in on it and get a quick runner fish and be really positive on that line, hoping that I get a real good runner fish and get me to that 60 pound mark that I can complete this challenge. So let's just run you through the gear and the bait and then we'll get started. So just going to run you through the gear I'm using. We've got a Spiro X 10 foot feeder rod. It's a bit of a chuck to the island there, so I'm going to use a 10 foot. We've got a 520 centrist reel, an elasticated 30 gram method. I'm using a 30 gram because there's a bit of a bit of a shallow steep shelf out on the island, so I want to try and keep the method on that on that uh, shelf if I can. And a four inch hook length with an MCM size 12 on. We're just going to band a band of wafter so that's that's the, the gear that I'm going to be using I'm just going to run you through the bait so the bait we're using today it's quite simple we got two mil micros a mixture of the fin perfects and the pro feeds just soaked up nice nice there we got some method match marine which is a lovely little ground bait that we can change to, we can either put ground bait on a method or I can add a bit of ground bait to my micros if I want a bit more attraction. And then we got 6 mil fin perfects. You know, I've only got 60 minutes to catch 60 pounds, so I need to be quite positive. I don't want to be waiting around. So I'm going to loose feed these on a line, hopefully drop on it later on and get a good run of fish. And then other than that, we got a little bit of haze just to give just give my feeder a little bit of a boost and my hook bait a little bit of a boost. This is the Power Scope X. And then just two, two different wafters. We got the pineapple and coconut and the washed out wafters. And they're the two hook baits I'm going to be using today. Right, we're off. It's going to start against the island. Hopefully. And swan on in the way. I'm using a 0.75 tip. I'm not gonna just use a line. Just put the tip under the water and just just pull the line slightly to sink the line. As I said earlier, it's a steep old uh, steep old ledge over there. So I'm trying to keep that feeder. On that ledge, I don't wanna don't wanna be knocking it off. I'm 
And because I've only got an hour, I don't really want to be wasting time building a swim. So I'm going to be quite positive and loose feed some pellets. towards that area right there hopefully the noise of the pellets going in will drag some fish into that area and I can have a really good run on that at some point but hopefully I'll nick a few fish in that shallow water early doors Or a heron over there uh, looking directly over where my method went and I keep poaching a few pellets over here just to try and be a bit positive on that line because after sort of 20 20-25 minutes I'm going to try and drop on this uh, this line that I'm feeding with a catapult try and get a quick run of fish it's typical of the winds picked up now, making it a bit awkward to feed some bait out there but I'm going to chuck that method again I don't want to give it too long because I'm not trying to I'm not trying to build a swim quite quickly so Slow down method again and get back out in that shallow water. Oh. Get back out in that shallow water and uh, hopefully get a little run of fish. As I said earlier, I got a 0.75 tip in. There's something I do a lot when I'm fishing up against islands, and I know a lot of other people do as well. It's just so that when you're getting liners and you've got fish around your feeder, tip can, can move around and it doesn't dislodge our feeder and make it drop down the shelf especially when you're fishing against islands and you've got you know, short little shelves before it drops into the deep water and the reason I said at the start it, that I feel like I'm up against it is a bite. the reason I said at the start I felt like I was up against it is because if you're fishing sort of shallow or down the edge on the pole, you know, you can catch fish really, really quick. Sometimes on the method, although it can be a really quick method, sometimes it takes you a while to get them, get them out there. It takes you a while to get bites. But that's, that's a good start. You know, we've had two or three really quick quick casts and sort of eight minutes in we got one so hopefully that's a sign of things to come that is uh, that's a good F1 Got F1 around two pound. You know, no quick cast on that on that island. I 
feel like that shallow water and that line I'm loose feeding is probably going to give me the best the best chance of it's probably going to give me the best chance of catching catching enough of a weight I'm just going to sink that tip again like I said and just there it is just pull that pull that line to sink the to sink the line I'm going to click that one a two pound a little bit of a line bite then just just what I said about that 0.75 tip and a little bit of a line bite then now if you're using a one and a half or a two ounce tip that could have dislodged the feeder and that feeder could have fell down the shelf and I got to reel in, bait back up recast it and you're just wasting time then so another little line bite then keep feeding a few uh, a few pellets on that on that air eater there we are another bite there's some reeds to my oh. just off that island there. there's some reeds to my to my right and that one went hell for leather towards towards those reeds managed to get him away from it but as it stands at the moment it's just I feel like it's not quick enough at the moment to, to catch that 60 pound but hopefully when we drop in on that on that line that I'm feeding positive hopefully Hopefully that'll give us a real good, uh, good quick response. That's a better fish. It's a better fish, that one. Oh. Give it a good scrap. Better F1 that one. Probably the best part of three pound, I'd say. Just a bad uh, pineapple and coconut wafter back on. And get back out there. I want to give this sort of like 25, 30 minutes before I drop on that. Mm. Wind caught it a little bit then, so got a little a little gap of sort of a meter and a half. Just with that duck is on the far bank, I don't know if you see that. And every now and again that wind's quite strong. Just makes it hard to get the, the method exactly where I want it. Because as, as that fish did then, it went to the right towards those reeds. I don't want to be I don't want to be losing fish in there. That's better. Lovely. Just gonna do the same again. Just hold that line to sink. Sink the line. If they do take it, then you just feel them. Feel them pull the line.
just have a tiny little bend in the tip. Just over a quarter of an hour in. I reckon we got ten pound at the moment. It's a bit slower than, a bit slower than we need. Keep putting some pellets and being quite aggressive on that, on that aerator. I've not clipped up that aerator, so I'm gonna have to sort of judge it a little bit. I'm going to use the same rod. Hopefully, by the time I drop on that line, I was feeding these pellets and dragged a few fish in. I was feeding pellets like this is a great way, especially in the summer months, dragging fish into your peg and then obviously catching them on the method. So, I'm hoping. Now the weather's starting to warm up a little bit. I'm hoping it will drag a few fish in. And give me a few quick bites that I need. Because at the moment I'm at the moment I'm a long way off the pace. Oh, there we go on. Feels like a small fish. Doesn't feel like an F1. There's a few fish talking to my right hand side in the edge, so it's starting to make me feel like perhaps I've made a mistake here and perhaps I should have fished a little bit more positively in the edge. But you know, we'll stick by our guns. See if we can uh, See if we can do what we need to do. It's a little small F1. Probably 10 out to a pound. Off to the left a little bit, but we'll leave it there. So then we go close to six pound, and we are twenty minutes in. So we're a little bit behind the pace. Could do with catching a few, a few bigger fish. You could do with a few of those real big F ones or big carp that are that are in this lake. Try and pull us out of the out of the muck a bit, but. Uh, A little bit quicker than that. Uh, feels a good fish as well, so it's a little bit quicker than uh, previous. So
to have a nice F1. Probably two pounds, but I think we're going to need a few bigger ones than that to, to stand a chance, to be honest. But because I was such a quick bite, I'm going to give it one more cast before we go on to this. Uh, before we go on to this. Line by the area to where I'm feeding pellets. I'll give you one more cast up there because I was quite a quick bite that time. So, just give it a squeeze. Typical, just in about the cast. The wind picks up again, seems to do quite a bit. I think I was just in front of the weeds, so I'm gonna. I'll leave it there a minute. So we've got 35 minutes left at the moment, so at the moment I'm a bit off a pace. Could do with catching a little little run of fish, so I'm hoping I'm hoping at that, that uh, that line on that area that we're in. Still feeding some pellets. I'm hoping that's gonna gonna kick off. I might even be a little bit sneaky now and just loose feed a few on the edge of the platforms up there. Just to give me a little bit sneaky that is but no, we won't tell anyone just uh fire a few six mils just just off the edge of that platform oh there we are i just start sticking a few six mils off the edge of that platform and just give myself a chance that if if it's five minutes to go and i'm not far off could just underarm them every day quickly and uh, see if I can nick that all, all important uh, all important fish but at the moment I'm falling behind I need to try and make something happen it's the fish the fish that I'm catching out on that on that island are not quite big enough they're not quite big enough at the moment to, to warrant going all that way that's another sort of pound fish. So gonna load this method again and then have our first chuck on that on that line where I'm feeding a few pellets. See if there's a couple of fish being dragged in with that loose feed. No, I haven't clipped up here, so I'm gonna have to jet oh look at that absolute perfect almost hit the almost hit the uh Here it added. Was that accurate? I think for this last sort of thirty minutes, if I am going to complete this this challenge then you're after have a good run of fish on this on this line you yeah, maybe maybe catch one leak in that edge really could do with emptying a few feederfuls of uh, 
I might go down here, but I just haven't got the time, so. <laughs> Bite then. It's a good sign that we've had a bite, quick bite on that, on that, um, on that pinging line. It's a slightly bigger fish as well. So a two pound fish. We haven't got a long left, but hold him up a little bit. Good two pound F1. Well, just under two pound, I'd say he is, but if we can keep getting a few bites like that, and then drop down that edge and maybe catch a couple, we might be here. Uh, Pulling off the impossible, you know. I'm gonna chuck that area there because seems to be a few fish walking about there now. So just uh, do the same again. Just pull the line to sink the line. A slight bend in the rod. I'm going to carry on sneaking a few, few sixes down that edge as well, just to give me some way to, to drop on. The liners here now as well. It's obviously a few fish mooching around on that uh, on those pellets they've been uh, feeding out there. So just keep firing a few pellets out. The wind's just gone nasty you now, just after that, that one I had really quick. <laughs> Any sort of 20 odd minutes left of this map, you know, a challenge. I think, don't get one quick now, I'm gonna have to have a little drop on that. Down that side and see if I can little indication in. A few indications there's signs in, signs of fish in the peg, but I was just about to move that then, just about to bring it in and have a look down that edge. Oh, that's gone really quick that one is. Hopefully you can catch. That's a good fish. Yeah, there's no ref one. Hopefully I can catch another one or two there quickly and then spend the last sort of ten and fifteen minutes in that edge. 
See if we can catch a few big boys to get me out of trouble. Maybe we'll give it one more cast eh? Just to... Just to see if a few fish turn up there. Now one more cast eh, quickly. And then... We'll have a little look at that edge. Shouldn't really have fed that edge line really, but uh, just felt like it was really too slow on those other two lines to complete the challenge. And you know, at the end of the day, you need to sort of be in it to win it. So give that. Uh, Sink that line there. Now, when they turn up, it can be mega quick. It's just building that sort of building that line up. So if you got more pallets on that edge, just keep it primed. Another one. Caught me by surprise, Armin did. Got my uh, cat pulled in. But that's a good sign. You know, that's really, really quick, I was. So that bite was less than 30 seconds. After, the, after I tightened up the feeder. So now we're starting to... The fish is still not quite big enough for me to catch up at the moment, but we can get a quick, quick couple of casts and a couple of fish. I'm not gonna be a million miles away. Now, one more cast there quickly. I want to spend that last sort of 15 minutes down that edge. So we can catch a couple of big, bigger fish to try and... Try and get somewhere near the 60 pound mark. So, if this was a match situation where I had sort of five hours you know I could have spent a, an hour or two over on our far side and then prime this line up and the edge line up to have a real good finish but Jamie's not giving me that he's giving me 60 minutes and that's it so we've had to force it a little bit but A few fish starting to come into that, into those loose fed pellets now. Still going to keep trickling a few down that edge because I'm hoping maybe a few big carp or something like that. Maybe willing to come down here, maybe. Bump me right up, but uh, just give this another sort of 30 seconds. Oh, there we are. So I was lovely hours. We had a couple of indications. And literally, I wanted to leave it 30 seconds. I didn't want to leave it any more than that. Because I was going to... I really want to go down that edge. I just feel that the fish want to be in shallow water. But chuck into that island is a little bit too... too far. I'm not going to... It's 
not going to be quick enough. So that was a good enough. That, that went around so quick. I'm going to drop down that edge now and see if I can catch. See if I can get a couple of bites on that edge because I think if I catch them in that edge, they're going to be a bit bigger. Hopefully a bit bigger. And maybe I can catch them a little bit quicker. So I really need a, a quick little uh, burst in this edge. You know, when, when they're in the edges, it can be very, very quick. But uh, you know, we'll drop it in and see if, see if anything's in there. Hopefully they're queuing up over those pellets I put in. And we can get a real quick, quick response. And build a bit of a weight. But if I'm perfectly honest, I don't, don't think I'm gonna catch enough to complete the challenge. In straight away. Just goes to show that they really want to be in shallow water. You know that was like that was in there less than 15-20 seconds after after tightening up. So nice F1, probably. Two pound again. Maybe just over two pound, but it's a good fish now. This is what we need now is to catch, catch a few of these. You know, it's probably two, maybe three pound that one. I'll give him three pound, which means we're up to sort of 19, 20 pound now. So I'll just, uh, just put another, another beat on. Now that was so quick, it was like 15 seconds of being in the water. I literally tightened up and it's gone round. So, I'll have another little drop there. The ducks are there, but I don't think the ducks are bothering the fish, to be honest. They're just, just under arm and just off the edge of that platform. You know, and it, that, was, that was like really, really quick, that one. Didn't even have time to put a little bit of pellets in my mould and it was around. It's got a little line that's straight away then. I hadn't even tightened up then. I was getting indications, there's clearly a few fish there. And this is what I mean about the 0.75 tip. You know, exactly the same as down that edge as it is over on that island. I'm getting line bites, but it's not dislodging the feeder. I'm getting the indications on the tip. But it's not dislodging our feeder. To, Look at that. Straight away again. Now we've only got sort of like 15 minutes left, but how quick this is. I could put a good week together and get start getting them one a bung, I guess. Need the fish to be slightly bigger, but if we can put a few fish together now, you never know. It's another 
us over a pound fish. Let's get back down there as quick as possible. I feel like I've been slightly unlucky with the, the size of the fish today, but you know, that's fishing at the end of the day. So get back down there. Back down there and see if we can get another one. Those last two have been so quick. I could probably catch another five or six in this in this last sort of fourteen minutes or so is left. Another indication straight away there then. Oh, we're in again. Well, this is what we want. We want some slightly better fish. You know, there's only like sort of, there's not long left at all now, 13, 13 minutes. If I can catch a couple of carp really quick. Might be able to do it. So quick now this is, don't you? Oh, it's a big F1 that is. If all my F1s were that size, we would have completed the challenge already, but they haven't been, so he's probably... That's about a five pound, that fish is here, four five pound. Right, let's get back down there. Get back in there. Catch another one, because we've run out of time, you know. Oh, now we're on for a grandstand finish. Literally, the feed is in their seconds, and and they're on. And now we're coming. Now that's from time we cast out to time the fish has landed. It's seconds now. Totally different uh, to fishing on that island or even on that bomb line. Well, bomb line, line where it's pinging. Do you mean it's just so much quicker? This line now that I probably, probably should have uh, emptied a little bit of bait there at the start with a little bait up feeder. He's really coming into his own now. Oh, there's another one on. is brilliant now but sadly I think I'm just gonna just gonna run out of time I'm gonna keep going as quick as you can see if we can catch them but 
think we're going to be beaten by the clock, but uh, this last sort of 15 minutes. Wouldn't be surprised if I caught sort of eight to ten fish in this time. I'm not squeezing the method as as hard as it was up there, just because I know it's shallow and I want that method. Opening up really, really quick, because there's that many fish there. I want to sort of land on the bottom and open it up as quick as I can get it to open just because I know there's a lot of fish there I want to try and get those bites as quick as possible we've literally got five minutes left but we've had sort of probably four or five fish in the last five minutes literally it's hitting the water And it's seconds and you get indications on the tip. And it's not long after this going round. So, so quick. It makes me think whether I should have dropped on this line 20 to 30 minutes to go instead of, instead of persevering. This is so good now that I wish I'd done this earlier to be honest. I'm trying to rush him a little bit now, but if you're a bigger stamp as well, I think we would have been somewhere near, but just go as long as we can. This last 15 minutes I haven't been clicking because I've just been trying to catch concentrating on the fishing and trying to catch as as many as I possibly can so I honestly haven't got a clue what weight they've got but I somehow don't think it's going to be enough but you never know we can catch a couple more. Look how quick the fish are taking there. I reckon I got enough time for two more fish. There we are. Now if we rush us in. I think I'll have time for another another fish. I'm not sure, but hopefully I'll have time for another one. Not oh, great big in as well. I'm trying to get that one in as quick as I can. Hold on, method, and see if I can get in and catch another one. Great big F ones down that edge. Right. 
don't know why we're gonna tighten it, but yo. Hold out. Ah. Oh, there we are. Well, that's it. All done. James called it. I don't think I've done enough, but I did have some real, really big ones down that edge last coming off. But uh, let's weigh in and we'll see. That was a bit more than I thought in Ireland. They pick all their funds, don't they? Yeah, nice don't realise how, how big they are. Still one in there. One. Fifty-two pound Fif exactly. Fifty-two pound. Lovely day. Not there quite, not quite enough for the challenge, but <laughs> still a nice day. Still a nice day. Put them back. So there are guys. Challenge is done. Didn't quite make it. Fifty-two pound. Supposed to have 60, but you know, we live and learn. I made a few mistakes, I think. I should have gone down that edge a little bit earlier because the fish were a lot bigger and the bites were so quick. So, made a few mistakes, but that's life. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and you'll have loads more content like this going on very shortly.